So I am a man of my word. I did say last episode that I was going to be fighting Bella Noir today. And that's the plan. But there's a lot of preparation that we need to do first. Also, I'm going into this boss fight completely blind. I know nothing about this other than it's a dark type, and you need a full base of pals in order to beat it. If we look at the type chart, we're gonna need a really strong dragon type. And I don't really have a strong dragon type other than this Jormantide, but I'm not sure I want to use this Jormantide. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I want to catch Astagon, because I've never used one before, and I don't know, they look pretty cool. I'm also not sure, like, how strong this boss is compared to a full base. So I really hope I don't accidentally, like, overbuff my pals. Now, Astagon is a dragon type. And I do have something that specializes in killing dragons. There she is. Otterpop, I'm sure you've loved your, like, one week of retirement. We're gonna need you back for a little bit but you're not gonna stand a chance at your current level. So while we're waiting, I say we go hit some dungeons. There's a couple things that we're gonna need. We're going to need more Bella Noir fragments. We're going to need some experience scrolls because I want to breed up some Astagons, as well as some for Otter Pop. And then maybe we could get some better blueprints. I'm not positive on that last one. Regardless of anything, we are going to need to do caves. Now, I'm assuming only high-level dungeons are capable of producing the Bella Noir fragments. But that being said, I think I should do high levels anyway, because that'll give me the most experience. And if we're doing high-level dungeons, I mean, we can go check if the Arctic has any. I don't think I've done an Arctic dungeon yet. Oh, there's one. Is this where I came from, or is this a new direction? I can't even tell. I think I'm lost. I'm pretty sure I'm horribly lost. Oh, there's the water path that always leads to the boss. Hey, I was right. Whoa. Suzuka Aqua? I brought my fire type because I figured I'd get an ice type. I didn't know that there was a water version of this. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we got two Bella Noir fragments. Where are they? I mean, we didn't get any XP scrolls, but two Bella Noir fragments is good. To save you guys the next hour and a half of footage, I basically just kept grinding out dungeons, getting as many Bella Noir slab fragments as I possibly could, as well as quite a few XP scrolls, a lot of levels for Otter Pop, a higher quality metal helmet. Oh yeah, and I just casually hatched a boss until eventually I felt satisfied, and by that I mean I got bored, to go finally try taking on Astagon. I think I've grinded out enough dungeons for right now. I'm gonna take a break and... I say I'm stupid enough to go take on Astagon. I mean, there's currently a five level difference, but I don't know. I feel like we could do it. Well, there's the giant dragon. It's only got 3k health. How much do I deal on the back of this? I only deal 10 damage. Okay. I believe in you, Otter Pop. You can, you can take it out. What if I just poke you a few times? Oh, I broke you. Yeah, okay, this works. This is a very lame way to fight Astagon. <laughs> okay, uh, Ring of Mercy. Otter Pop, you can come back now. I do have it on, right? Okay. Let's just punch you. There we go. So now... Whoa. Why is it a 2% chance? It's at one health. Okay. So, I think I found where the difficulty of this fight is going to come from. You know, Astagon in the ceiling was not on my plans for today. <laughs> Please just stay in this sphere. I don't know what's going to happen if you don't. Okay, there we go. Please? It it's working. It's gone. I don't even think I'm going to be able to catch this thing. I mean, I guess that's what I get for trying to cheese it, but like, why is it in the ceiling? And why can it still attack me? I mean, we might as well kill it. Can Otter Pop even kill it? Otter Pop, I believe in your ability to kill this thing through the ceiling. <gasps> we did it! I didn't get any loot. Oh, wait, I do. <laughs> it's just gonna fall through the... There it is. 
He's making an appearance. That's so sad. Does it spawn anywhere else? Does it spawn on one of like the wildlife sanctuaries? I wonder if I can check it on the Paldex. There it is. Habitat. Oh, it spawns in one of the wildlife sanctuaries. Okay, and that might be a lot better because it'll be, um, it won't be a boss. It'll just be a wild one. Okay, fast travel up here and you can barely see it. I might crank the exposure, but it's over that direction. So let's go that way. There's a Fengalope. There's a chest. There's an Inseram knocked, but those are not what I'm here for. And the game knows that. What about these upper tiers? Is that where an Astagon would be? Oh, that's an Astagon. Okay. Nukamori, I guess you have to be the one to do it. Even though you don't have any super effective moves, but I think you're as low HP as you can get. Yeah, you're definitely on one health. Okay. That's a giant attack. Please stay. Oh, it did. We got one! Hard skin, positive thinker, power of Gaia. I don't think any of that's really going to be important to have. It is already almost daytime. I mean, maybe different things will spawn here during the day. We can just see what else there is. Okay, just one Astagon. That's all I got was just one Astagon. What are you? Whoa, Shadow Beak. You're a dark type, so I'm not going to need you, but I definitely want you. Draconic Breath. Okay, that is a charge attack with a lot of explosions. This thing is good. Please stay. You're about to die. You will die if you get out of that. No. Okay, it's still alive. The fire wore off. Oh, <gasps> nice. Okay, we got one. And it has Mercy hit. That might be useful to have. I don't know. I don't know what this... I don't know what Shadow Beak does. And criminal activity. All right, let's head down. Look at this area one last time. It doesn't look like there's anything. So we will be back eventually. Actually, what if instead I just try to breed an Astagon? Because then I can pass down things like Lucky and try to pick and choose the traits that I already have. Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll start on that. Let's start breeding some Astagon. Sort by Lucky. I think if I sort by Alpha... Okay, that does include the Lucky Pals. Oh, Suzuka and Relaxorus. That's a combination that could work. None of them have good perks. Okay. Let's just start breeding them. Let's just... Suzuka, Aqua and Relaxorus. Oh, I should have checked their genders. Oh, they are opposite genders. Okay. We'll give them two cakes. I'm sure we can pass it down within the first two. I shouldn't say that out loud. I feel like I'm going to jinx myself, but we'll, we'll see what happens. One week later. All right, look. Um, <laughs> I did it. I, I went and did it. I have 15 Astagons that have Ferocious, Musclehead, Lucky, and Hooligan. Now, some of you may have noticed that that's not 15. That's 18 of them. I just assumed that the number of columns in the box was the same number of columns for the base pals. And uh, it's not. I made way more Astagons than I needed. The majority of them are one star. These two are zero star. And this one and this one are four star. Let's look at how many it says I've caught. <laughs> I've bred almost 500 of these guys. For context, you remember how much I lost my mind with trying to create Nukamori? <laughs> Let's see how many that was. 135. Almost 500 of them. And now I have to level all 15 of them up. I really wish there was a setting in game that let the PAL XP rate scale differently from players, because I don't want to accidentally level up to like level 50 while I'm out doing this. That might be what ends up happening because I set the XP rate to five times because I don't want to spend another two weeks working on this video. I'll be honest. 
So we're gonna go do some dungeon hopping and have our whole party, aside from Nukamori, be just Astagons. <laughs> and this should level them up pretty easily. If we just run to the Arctic, hope that the dungeons have respawned, and just farm these bosses until they're level, I don't know, 40? I think all of them being level 40 should be fine. I severely doubt I'm gonna need more than level 40, considering they all have the perfect perks. And if they do need higher than level 40, we can go back and grind it. All right, moment of truth. One more hit from Nukamori, and we'll see how much they level up. Okay, that is kind of what I wanted, though. <laughs> so let's see, I can carry four of them at a time, which means I'd need to do this in four different batches, and it would take most likely two dungeons each. So that's eight dungeons in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> I've discovered eight dungeons. We can just do those eight dungeons and we're good to go. Again, I'll just cut to the end of it because this grind did take quite a while. However, I do want you guys to pay attention to how dead I sound by the end of this. All right, I think we're about as ready as we can be. You know, now would be a great time to have a flying mount. If only I had enough room in my inventory to put a flying mount. I should have crafted the Astagon saddle. Why didn't I craft the Astagon saddle while I was out here? But now after finally leveling up all 18 Astagons, I took a little break from it and came back the next day. And feeling fully refreshed, I decided to take on the boss with Twitch chat, which is why you'll start seeing that in the bottom corner for the last part of this video. And speaking of, I stream every Monday. I've got a Nuzlocke series that I'm working on. Link in the description if you're interested in that. But with that out of the way, take it away past me. I am not entirely sure if this is actually going to be possible. I, I don't know how difficult this boss fight is. I'll be honest with you guys. I know I need to build a uh, base at some point for this. So I have an idea of where I want to take it on right here on the map is a big flat circle with nothing on it. And I feel like that plateau would be the best place to do this fight. And I'm not sure, cause like I said, I don't really, I'm intentionally going into this without knowing much, <laughs> but I'm hoping that I have what it takes to take it down or at least the first version. All right, can I make a POW box? There, yes, okay. I say we put it right here here actually wait should i be putting this in the middle of the boss fight area or should i tuck it away so it doesn't get destroyed <laughs> i'm starting to think maybe i should try to hide it <laughs> we'll we'll just kind of cram it in this corner okay spam the astagon army <laughs> wait did i not do the math right i don't know why i assumed there were the same number of pals right here as there were down here <laughs> So I just made three rows. I made three more Astagons than I needed. Some of them can die. Okay, then we'll have backups. We'll put the two zero stars away for now. And we'll just leave the backup ones over here. <laughs> Look at the swarm of them. Do I need to give them food? I think I should put down some beds and some food. Yeah, I mean, they'll want the food eventually. Must be within the range of a base. Oh, so it needs to be close to the base. Uh-oh. I was planning on putting it all the way out there. Do you think they'll move the boss fight away from here? Yeah, I'm going to put it at the edge of the base. Oh, you can put it like edge, edge of the base. Okay. Where? Uh, my slabs are over here. So I know you would have these slabs. How do I make a full slab? Because it says that you can combine them. But how do you combine them? Because I checked here and like there's not a recipe. Oh. Never mind, there is just a recipe. All right, we have the slab. Who all do I want to put in my party? Honestly, I think we're going to do... I think we're going to put all of these guys away and roll with Otter Pop and a bunch of wingmen or a bunch of godfins. Because I'm going to need to deal as much damage as possible. <laughs> all right, I think it's time. I just throw this in, right? Yeah, and then I just hold C to summon it. If you summon a powerful boss at your base, there is a chance that all structures in your base will be destroyed and all pals at your base will be incapacitated. You know what? I'm here for it. Uh, Otter Pop. Oh, the ground moves. 
Oh, we're in. Oh, we're just in. <laughs> Astagons, go. <laughs> there is so much. Oh, that's her attack. I thought that was them attacking. She's getting deleted. Oh, she doesn't stand a chance. Oh, but I am dying of cold. Fine, we'll put on the undershirt. She's so big. But I can't even see what's happening. There's so many Astagons. <laughs> can I can I get a couple shots in? <laughs> I think we're too powerful. <laughs> I don't know what that I don't like the big thud sound. <laughs> we're too strong for this boss fight. <laughs> I think we need to take on the hard mode after this. I oh the terrain. Okay, there's just like a hole in the floor that you can get stuck in. Yeah, this boss fight's very chaotic. <laughs> but we did it! We killed the first one. <laughs> and the Astagons are going to shove her body away. That was easy. Oh, I got an ancient civil- You only get one? And a huge dark egg. I'm pretty sure hatching this egg gives me Bella Noir. So we're gonna wait on that one. And instead, let's... How, how are their healths looking? Let's throw them back in the box for now to preserve their HP. Let's go get the slab fragments for the stronger version. And you know what? Let's just craft as many as we can. So we can make four. All right. Oh, I do not want to put all three of them in at the same time. Would that summon three? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think the game would let me do that, but I, out of sheer fear, I'm going to do one at a time. Let's start the music. Here we go. <laughs> oh, she's pink. Oh, she almost one shots my shield. And the sky is dark. She has 450,000 health. Oh, oh, they're almost dead. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, no. Um, um. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. What do you mean they're all dead? <laughs> no, we gotta swap them out. We'll put these guys out. They're all dying. <laughs> How are you supposed to fight this boss? They're all dead. I'm out of- I'm literally- I'm out of words at this point. Otter Pop. Oh! <laughs> Where is she? Oh, she's teleported to me! Okay! No, 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 no! Don't attack the PAL box! <laughs> Why is this stage 2 version of her this strong? <laughs> okay, the final Astagon is dead. <laughs> Otter Pop's almost dead. I th <gasps> we dealt no damage. <laughs> Otter Pop. It doesn't matter. It's over. <gasps> I hear a shiny. It's not going to be a good shiny because of where we are, but... Oh, it's a Vixie. Hey, at least we fulfilled our one shiny of the episode. Not the one I would have wanted. My inventory's full. What did I drop? Oh, bones. I actually do want those. 